Hey everyone, it's Dr. Russell. So with the weather being colder and we have some rain and just kind of, you know, really yucky weather going on right now, I wanted to talk about some ways to stay more active during the cooler months. So obviously during summer and even parts of fall and spring, it's much easier usually for us to get more active. But as the weather turns colder and as the sun starts going down sooner and sooner, so we have less amount of daylight, it gets really hard to kind of stay active and keep up with your exercise regimen or kind of activity levels. So I want to talk about a few ways to kind of stay active. Some are more um, creative than others. So if any of these resonate with you, please use them. So the first thing, and most of these are going to be um, talking about things you can do at home, but the first one is gonna be um, looking up YouTube videos. So I recommend to my patients all the time looking up different yoga teachers and um, all kinds of, even Pilates, all kinds of YouTube videos that they have. So those are things that you can easily do at home as long as you have a little bit of space. Um, and you can you know kind of screen the video to see okay i have 10 minutes i have 30 minutes um so kind of take that to your advantage personally i love yoga with adrian i think she's great she's quirky um she still encompasses kind of the the benefits of yoga the more spiritual side of it as long with the exercise component and then she has different levels for beginner um, intermediate and kind of harder poses um, but there's thousands and thousands of different YouTube videos for exercises. Um, so those are things you can check out. So that's number one, check out things on YouTube. Number two is kind of making up your own um, exercise regimen. And I honestly hate the term exercise, so I like to say activity. Um, so you get your body moving. So you can do um, something called HIT. So HIT is high intensity interval training. And there's many different um, kind of versions, but you can really just make it your own. So it's really going for um, kind of hardcore. So maybe jumping jacks or running in place or um, burpees or whatever it is and doing that for you know a short period of time maybe a minute and going as hard as you can and then kind of maybe taking a rest and you know not being inactive but maybe kind of walking around or doing something a little less intense um, so and then going back and forth back and forth and it literally you can to start only do 10 minutes of that you know just back and forth resting and going but it's not um, you know needing to be this hour-long exercise or workout and you can pair it to something. What I tell people to do is to pair it to something you really enjoy. So maybe some of your favorite music or a podcast or something like that just to get you through. But it's something to get the heart rate going and to get more activity into your daily routine. Um, so that's number two, trying some HIIT exercises. And then number three, one of my favorites, and <laughs> Some people might find this silly, it's definitely creative, is having a dance party. So it kind of relates to number two in that you just put on your favorite song, whatever you're feeling that day, and just rock out and dance like nobody's watching and just you know get your heart rate up and have fun. So that's a more fun way to get more activity in. Um, I think it's the most enjoyable one to do, but obviously pick which one works for you. Um, number four, this isn't really an activity per se, but just kind of a tip in general. Use what little daylight we have to your advantage. So obviously this can become a challenge if you work a nine to five and you know when you leave for the office it's still dark out, when you get home it's dark out. But if you have any kind of flexibility in your schedule, maybe even at lunchtime during your office hours, try to pair your activities during the day just because you're able to use a little bit more of that light energy to kind of get your activity level levels up um, or you know look at the weekends but it is really hard as we have shorter and shorter days to kind of feel more motivated to get to get active so really again try to see if you can pair it to daytime activities um, and then the last tip is uh, to use the outdoors to your advantage so you know if we get snow shovel you know that's a great exercise go ice skating um, you know build snowman do stuff that you did as a kid um, and get yourself out there even you know walking your dog or, or taking a brisk walk quickly um, so kind of of doing more outdoor activities or you know if you love skiing or snowboarding or things like that that's good exercise as well and good activities so you know take advantage of the things that we can't do during the summer months um, but we can do and enjoy during the winter months so hopefully those tips were helpful if you have any of your own tips that you use to stay more active during the winter months I love to hear them I'm always looking to add more ideas to these kinds of things um,